All right, as you can see, this is the solar panel that we were talking about. So I'm going to take it out and I'm going to show you how to connect it. As you see, you can compare it with the other ones. The other ones are not that efficient. They are less efficient and this is more efficient. They are also the good thing is this is more compact and you can put it in a small vehicle. So I'm going to show you how to connect it. And let me take those bolts out and I'll show you. All right, now a little bit of theory. So here I have my box tracks. So hopefully you have seen my other videos. Otherwise you can go and see my other videos that I was building the rack and, and everything for the solar panels. So in this case, you're going to see the blue circles that you see here. What I did, I put L brackets like that. And in the other side of the L brackets, so here we have the L and here on this side, I put the struts and I put one screw uh, going like that. So that way uh, I fixed the the rack that I, I made with it. I mean, I put the, the struts here, one here and the, the other one in the other side. This is all fiberglass. So that was the best uh, place, at least or the best idea that I came up with. And here as I am in the box track right now. So what I did is you have to find the, the, the frames uh, in this case, uh, the columns. <laughs> so that goes all, uh, they are vertical. So you have to try to grab all those because those are like a U that goes from here to the roof and then it, it goes in the other side, something like that. So that way it keeps everything. So like I said, it's EL, EL brackets, the struts, and because the struts has a channel inside, you can move the um, those uh, pipes that I, I put, you know, uh, back and forth. And you can move the, the panels around. There is another option, I mean, with the uh, solar panels, usually they come another L type of L brackets. I don't like it the, that much, except if you know that you're going to put it in one place and you're not going to replace them with anything else. But in the future, you know, as anything in technologies, they will increase the wattage. And if you want to put something maybe in the future, you have a solar panel, 1000 watts solar panel, one solar panel, 1000 watts, that would be uh, great. But uh, maybe they are a, a little bit bigger or maybe they are smaller or anything like that. You, you don't know. So by doing what I just uh, told you, having this type of rack that you can move it uh, around or, or do any uh, new arrangement, that will help you a lot with this, uh, with the installations. I just took the screws off. So what I'm using here, as you can see, is these L brackets that you can see. So I put some a rivet on each end and on the side the same way one in each end and then in the middle and then in the other end so that way you can move it freely uh, uh, anywhere so as you can see here I have the the bars those two uh, bars that you see over there so let's say that I want to move this a little bit forward or I want to move, move it a little bit backwards or anything like that. I, I can do it just, just fine by using this type of U connectors, as you can see. And uh, that way it allows me to have more flexibility. And I'm going to show you the other side. So in this case, I'm using Sun Gold Power. So this is the... the solar panel that I'm using right now. Here you can see the, the power. So in this case is 100 watts. And it's, it's very good. It's working very, very, very well. And the only thing that you have to keep in mind is just to keep it clean, clean it up maybe once a month or once a week. It depends on where you are in the world. So that way you're going to have more sun coming into the solar panel and you're going to have more power otherwise if you have a a lot of dirt it's going to decrease the the power that you have so in this case i'm using this u as you can see here so uh, what i use is i put the the u one inside the other outside and it's going to look kind of like that so in this case of course i'm doing it through the other side, like that. 
and you can put it uh, like that and it's going to be firm it's not going to have any issue or anything like that if you can use a washer lock that will be better otherwise you have to check it uh, once in a while so i was testing everything for a couple months and for now everything is 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 doing great even the, i mean i've been driving not too much but i've been driving this box truck i never had any issue with the solar panel like i said before the solar panel they are very compact um they are they have a very good price as well and you have the flexibility of doing the holes like as i said before on the on the side i want to show you so that way you can see it. so over there you have the rivet hopefully you can see that is the rivet the other rivet in the other end and that is what i did you have to make sure when you put the holes on the side that you're not going to damage the solar panel so that is what i did and i'm happy with this so later we're going to do some testing so that way you can see the power that you're getting with these solar panels all right i'm going to show you how to connect the connectors you have the positive and the negative basically you put it like that and that's it if you want to remove it you push these little handles or whatever you want to call them like that and that's it so as you can see this is minus and negative and the other one says positive so you have to connect one here the other there and that's it i mean you have splitters like i have but that will be for another class all right as you can see these are the struts that I was talking about. Here is the L bracket that I was mentioning, uh, mentioning uh, before. And here is the, the channel. So the way, here in this case, I have the camera, the video surveillance system. I have the, the floodlights. And then I have the struts. Which the struts is very easy. You just untie this screw, and then by doing that, it, it will allow you to move it up and down. So when you adjust it back in, it will stay firm and it will not move. So that is how I have all the panels, as you can see.